What is a culture? It is defined as the complex whole, which includes knowledge, beliefs, arts, moral, law, customs, and any other capabilities and habits acquired by men as a member of society. It is the totality of learned, socially transmitted, customs, knowledge, and material objects, and behavior. This is the distinctive way of a people, whatever they might be. Now, when talking about culture or kultura, um, ito ay napag-aaralan, um, habitually acquired, or minsan, totally learned um, sa isang group. Um, pwede natin masabi na in terms of sa kanilang law, or in terms of their moral values and then beliefs. And ito yung nakasanayan nila na paniwalaan and sundin. Now when proceeding to function of cultures, the number one is culture provides identity to the people in the society. This is what separates commonwealth groups from each other. They are known by their distinct traditions and beliefs that they hold. So number one, function of culture, it is provides identity to the people in the society. Ibig sabihin, culture defines who are you and where you're from, kung saan ka nagbula or saan group ka nag, nanggaling. Kasi kung ano yung nakasanayan mong culture, yun din yung kultura na kinagisnan mo kung ano yung natutunan mo dun sa lugar na pinanggalingan mo. And number two, culture mirrors the law and the land. Laws in one society is born out the norms which are socially acceptable, behavioral patterns in the community. These norms are held with supreme importance and so the people make sure that they are systematized and followed by all. Going against these laws are punishable in most, if not all, cases. Number 3. Culture unifies people in many ways that only those who belong in this society understands. It is always what the communal group invokes in matters of decisions, practices, and traditions. So sa number 3, siya sabi niya, um, culture unifies people. Kasi kung sino lang yung nandun sa isang certain group or sa certain society, sila lang yung, ano, yung nag evoke in terms of decision and practices, lalo sa traditions. Kasi sila lang yung may kinagis na ng ganong kultura. Number four, culture influences our concept of morality. Culture provides the rules of the games in the society through cultural norms. It is very much prescriptive of what is morally right or wrong and what is respectful and not affecting our patterns of behaviors. It is the culture that molds, if not dictates, the values that should be adhered to the people. So, sabi dito sa number 4, culture influence our concept of morality. Kasi, ito yung nagtuturo sa atin ng mga um, moral goods or yung moral customs na pinapakita kung ano yung tama, kung ano yung mali, and kung ano yung uh, respectful, and kung ano yung disgrace. Um, culture is nakaka-affect siya sa ating pattern as a individual and human, lalo sa ating society. Kasi culture yung nagmumold sa atin. And um, nagtuturo yung culture ng value na dapat nating ma-adapt and ma-ahard bilang tao. Now, talking about cultural relativism, it is the idea that person's beliefs and practice should be understood based on that person's own culture. Proponents of cultural relativism also tend to argue that the norms and values of one culture should not be evaluated using the norms and values of another. So, cultural relativism is the idea that person's beliefs and practices kung ano yung pinaniniwalaan niya and kung ano yung practices na ginagawa niya na nakabase lang sa sarili niyang kultura. Um, hindi ito pwedeng ma-evaluate ng iba based sa kanilang ibang culture kasi magkaiba sila ng perspective of culture na kinagisnan. And other one, cultural relativism refers to not judging a culture to own standard. 
it is what is right or wrong, strange or normal. Instead, we should try to understand culture practices of other groups in its own cultural context. Um, tama siya sa part na to, na kailangan natin intindihin yung cultural practices ng ibang group or ibang society sa kanilang sariling konteksto. Kasi hindi mo naman pwedeng i sa culture mo lang yung culture ng iba. Dahil magkaiba kayo ng sariling context and sariling beliefs and practice. Um, ethical relativism. Sinasabi niya doon na you can look at another culture from the perspective of one's own culture. Pwede din natin sabihin na this is the act of judging of other culture or ito yung action ng pag-judge mo sa isang kultura. Depende sa preconceptions. Um, depende sa standards at customs nung kultura na yun. So, mapunta naman tayo sa difference of cultural to ethical relativism. Ang cultural relativism, it is a theory about morality focus on the concepts that matters of customs and ethics that are not universal in nature but rather are culture specific. Each culture evolves its own unique moral code, separate and apart from any other. Ethical relativism naman, it is a theory also of morality, pero it has a view of ethics similarly engaged understanding how morality comes to be culturally defined. However, na yung formulation is quite different from that wide range of human habits or individual opinions drive the culture toward distinguishing normal good habits from abnormal bad habits. The takeaway is that both theories share the guiding principle that morality is bound by culture or society. So kung magpo-focus tayo sa pinakaming difference ng dalawang to, which is ethnocentrism or ethical relativism and cultural relativism um, it is the way in which you evaluate or assess foreign culture sabihin na natin ganun um, ethnocentrism involves looking at another culture from perspective of one's own culture like nabanggit natin kanina while dun sa cultural relativism involves looking at another culture by its own perspective instead of looking on one's own culture. So, halos magkaibang magkaiba sila dahil yung isa, tinitignan niya yung perspective ng isang kultura based sa kultura na nandun, um, based dun sa kultura ng iba. And yung isa naman, which is cultural, um, naglulok in taaway siya sa kultura ng iba based sa kanyang sariling kultura. And Culture is the beliefs, values, social forms, and materials, traits of particular social group. Ethnocentrism and cultural relativism are two ways in which we assess a culture that is not our own. Ethnocentrism is the act of judging other cultures according to the preconceptions. Ito yung sinasabi natin. Um, Ginajudge natin yung culture ng iba based sa kanilang paniniwala or based sa kanilang culture and beliefs and while other na cultural relativism is it is the concept that cultural norms and values of people have to be understood with their own cultural texts um, sinasabi dito na yung cultural relativism is may concept ng cultural norms and values na kailangan you need to understood with their own cultural context. Next, punta tayo sa forms of ethical relativism. Meron itong dalawang forms na ang una is personal or individual ethical relativism. Ang personal or individual relativism is ethical judgment and beliefs are the expressions of the moral outlook and attitudes of individual persons. There is no objective standards of right and wrong in as such as the individual person is the basis of moral judgment. Any person has no right to say that others are correct or incorrect 
an ethical relativism may say, I have my own view and you have yours. Neither my view nor yours is better or more correct. Ang mga example nito is genocide or gerontocide, yung abandonment to death or killing of the elderly. Kasi, during famines or other extremely difficult situations, the Inuit or the indigenous people of Northern America would leave their elderly to the ice to die. The individual relativist would say that no one, especially the outsider of this culture, has the right to say that the Inuit are wrong because they are morality of such action depends on entirely on the individual Inuit beliefs. So, sinasabi niya dito na yung individual relativist pwede niya sabihin na no one especially outsider of this culture has the right to say na tama sila or mali sila. Next natin is yung pangalawa. Social or cultural ethical relativism. Ethical values and beliefs vary from society to society. The basis of moral judgments lies in these social or cultural views. No society's view is better than any other transcultural sense. No society has the right to say that particular culture of a certain society is wrong. Example, the ancient Indian practice or sati or suti, a practice of burning a wife alive in the funeral fire of her deceased husband. So, merong mga beliefs yung ibang culture na hindi mo pwedeng masabi na mali. Gaya nung dito sa ancient Indian na um, sinusunog sa apoy yung babae kapag yung um, asawa nila is namatay. Sa, or sinusunog yung babae sa funeral kapag yung asawa nila is namatay na and ililibing. The strength and weaknesses of cultural relativism. The strength of cultural relativism is that promotes greater diversity and understanding of ethical differences and reduces the likelihood of the imperialist imposition of values. The weakness of cultural relativism is its propensity towards quietism which may compromise action to protect human rights. Cultural relativism requires an admission of humility and acceptance of differences in ethical practices. This awareness and acceptance of differences reduce the likelihood of group attempting to impose their values by force. However, cultural relativism also requires that judgment be restrained even in the face of humanitarian authority, such as genocide or oppression. As other cultures are denied universal grounds on which to object to such practices, this can lead to a lack of action against oppression or suffering. So yung strength down ng cultural relativism is um, pinapakita niya or mas pinopromote niya yung greater hmm. diversity and yung understanding ng tao sa ethical differences at nire-reduce niya yung likelihood ng pagiging imperialist and imposition of values. Sa kabilang banda is yung weakness ng cultural relativism. Um, yung propensi uh, which is pwedeng mag-compromise sa action to protect human rights and yung cultural relativism, nire-require niya na magkaroon ng admission of humility and acceptance of difference in ethical practices uh, this awareness is this awareness and acceptance reduce the likelihood of one group na ina-attempt nilang mag-impose yung sarili nilang values by force or pilit. But however, yung cultural relativism also requires judgment be restrained even in case humanitarian not positive. Um, such as genocide or oppression. Kasi, um, pwede yun mag sa pagkulang ng action against suffering and oppression. Tips for improving your cultural sensitivity. Exposure. The truth is no matter where you live, you are exposed to the other cultures. 
look for local festivals and events focus on other cultures. So, try mong expose yung sarili mo sa kultura ng iba para malaman mo na hindi lang isa yung kultura mo pwede mong makagisnan and mapag-aralan. Next is number two, education. Understanding the culture, practices of others can make you break an interaction. We show respect by observing those practices. So, knowing that not to do is crucial. Learn about other cultures by reading online magazine, journals, or blogs. Pwede kang matuto ng kultura ng iba sa pagbabasa ng mga journals, ng mga articles, or pag-observe sa mga ibang tao sa kanilang ibang cultural practices na ginagawa. Number three is curiosity. Being cultural curious, it doesn't mean that you have to sell everything and become a backpacker. You can start small by going to a local restaurant to try a new food. Ask question like, is this how this dish traditionally served in our in your country? So, pwede mong ma-improve yung cultural sensitivity mo sa pagpunta din ng mga lugar na kung saan nagsaserve sila ng mga iba't ibang cuisine na galing sa iba't ibang lugar and sinuserve yun depende sa kung anong culture yung lugar na meron and pwede mo silang tanungin kung ganun din ba yung way ng pagsuserve nila ng pagkain na yun sa lugar na yun next is number 4 last na po, self-awareness knowing more about your own culture is the most important part of your development cultural sensitivity you can expect to truly understand someone's culture and someone else until you know yourself. Start by answering a simple question. What makes you and your culture unique? So, last is yung self-awareness na napakahalaga. Kasi kailangan mo din na matutunan yung sarili mong kultura bago mo alamin yung kultura ng iba. Kasi, nagsisimula yung pagtatuto natin sa sarili natin. And yung sarili natin kultura yung nagtuturo sa atin, panimula pa lamang kung ano yung mga beliefs and practices na dapat natin gawin. Bago natin matutunan yung kultura ng iba, dapat maintindihan nyo na natin kung ano yung konsepto and konteksto ng ating sariling kultura. Yun lamang, and yun yung mga tips para ma-improve mo yung cultural sensitivity.